morning. I'm ready for my morning walk. Y'all, I want to share with you how much I love my morning walk. Getting up, getting going, getting in the sunshine, getting a little sweaty, feeling the warmth on my shoulders, and getting my heart moving, and getting my exercise in first thing in the morning. So get dressed, throw you on a little t-shirt and some tennis shoes, and come on, let's go outside and let's just talk about how good we feel when we get moving. Oh, beautiful. The moment I step outside to start my walk, wow, it's sunny. And I can just feel the fresh air and hear the birds and I just get going. It just is such a great way to start my day. Are you all morning walkers? Are you evening walkers? Are you midday walkers? Do you go to an indoor facility? Like, I know a lot of people walk around our mall here. And if you live in the city, like I live in the country, obviously, but if you live in the city, what do you do? Do you just go out and walk around the streets? Do you put on workout gear like I have on? Or are you walking in your clothes? I love living in the country. I love hearing the birds. People are out working in their yard, mowing their lawns. Just the sounds of the country just make me happy. And the sunshine on my shoulders. Oh my goodness. And honestly, my morning walk is about how it makes me feel mentally how it makes me feel yes it makes me feel good physically yes walking every day is going to make me lose weight but mentally it starts my day off so great it is absolutely i don't even know how to put it into words it just clears my mind i never take my phone on a walk which for this video obviously i have to have my phone so i can film but i never take my phone on a walk i don't talk on the phone i don't listen to podcasts i don't do any of that stuff i just walk i clear my mind i think it's a great time for me to just process all the things that i need to do during the day i get such great ideas when i'm walking and the mental workout puts me in such a good mood for the day. I wanna challenge you to get up and get moving with me. Whatever that looks like for you, get up and get moving. And I, and I truly do challenge you. I'm challenging myself to get up and get moving. And after doing it for the past month, every single morning, I've only missed a couple mornings just because it was raining and I couldn't get outside. But I challenged myself to get out and throughout my day to walk a certain number of steps. 7,198 steps. Boom. Look at me. 11,579. Another morning and another walk. And look at this. I got 8,521 steps on my morning walk. I feel so good. 6,000 steps in. I'm going to get the dogs. Right, now you're going to get the dogs. <laughs> and get some more steps in. Saturday morning, I'm heading out on my walk, but I wanna show you how many steps I got last night. From doing my morning walk and then working at the ice cream shop last night, 14,132 steps. I killed it yesterday. Oh yeah, 11,592 steps. I bought a simple step counter because there's just something about looking at the actual number of steps I have taken throughout the day that is so motivating and so rewarding. And it's also so surprising how the steps can rack up so quickly. I put this little step counter in my pocket and when I'm on my walk, I don't look at it. And when I get home, I always love to pull it out and see how many steps I actually got in so early in the morning to start my day off. And then throughout the day, I have my step counter in my purse or in my pocket or clipped on my pants or wherever. This is how many steps I walked yesterday. So satisfying. It makes me feel so good just to see that number. So if you wanna join me in my challenge to get up and get moving, I encourage you to get a simple step counter from 3D FitBud. There are links in the description box below this video. They're super inexpensive. They come in a rainbow of colors. I actually have pink, black, and purple. And they literally are so simple. That's why they're called a simple step counter. 
you open the package, you pull the little clip out of the back, which activates the battery. You don't have to charge it. You don't have to sync it with anything. It doesn't have to be plugged in. You don't have to calibrate it. It just counts your steps. And y'all know I have to wear glasses to look at stuff up close. <laughs> so I love the big screen on the step counter. I can look down instantly, just see my steps without having to squint and put my glasses on. So this simple step counter by 3D Fitbud is perfect to keep track of everything that I need to know. I wanna show you how accurate the step counter is. It doesn't need any calibration at all. It just accurately knows what you're doing. But look here, look at my feet compared to the steps. It is perfect every time. It never misses a beat. So let me explain this challenge to you. Every night after I've got my steps in or I know I'm done for the night, I'm gonna post a picture of my step counter showing you how many steps I got in that day. I'm gonna post it on my Instagram stories. And I challenge you to do the same. Take a picture of your step counter. If you don't wanna show your face, you don't have to. You could simply take a picture just like this. Your tennis shoes, your step counter, and tag me in your Instagram story at welcome to my curls so that i will see your story if you tag me we can go back and forth we can encourage each other so i truly do challenge you join me in my get moving challenge and the fun part is going to be i'm going to choose one random person who does an instagram story and tags me i'm going to gift you a 3d fitbud step counter it's springtime, or at least here where I live, summer, it's hot, I'm sweating. But we could all just get outside or get wherever you need to go to get moving. So set a goal for yourself. After a couple weeks in, when you're easily meeting that goal every day, increase your goal. Increase it by 500 steps or 1,000 steps. Try to progress your movement because I promise you will feel so good. And I will tell you, there are some days when I don't wanna get out and walk. There's typically one day a week where I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm tired. I've worked all weekend. I just don't have it in me and that is okay. If you can't do it seven days a week, that is okay. Find what works for you, set a goal and try to meet your goal and let me help you do it. You know another great thing about walking? Steps are steps. It doesn't matter how fast you go or how slow you go. Steps are steps. So there are times when I just have a lot of energy and I get up and get going really quick in the morning. And there are other mornings where I'm like, like today, I've got a lot to do this afternoon. I have to work this afternoon. So I'm kind of in a mosey, slower walk this morning. And that is totally fine because steps are steps. So, so many things will happen once you start moving every day. You will mentally feel better. I like the quiet. I like the mental clarity I get from just listening to the birds and the breeze. I love to say hi to my neighbors. But in addition to feeling better mentally, your skin will glow. You will start to look better. You will feel better physically. Honestly, I have accepted the fact that I am gonna be 51 years old this summer. My body is what it is. Yes, I'm approaching menopause. And I am not so concerned about the number on the scale. What I care about is how I feel. Moving is what makes me feel good. So I know that if I move, the number on the scale will drop. I will feel better. I will look better. My clothes will look better on me, but that's honestly not my number one priority. My number one benefit from walking is how I feel mentally and physically. So I've done my walking for the morning, but now I have to walk the dog. There's Maxie. He, they're always in the window. When I'm walking and I approach the house, they are in the window looking at me because they know I'm coming back to get them. And plus, it's a benefit. I walk me first and then I walk the dog separate because all it does is add to my steps. Uh-huh, there they are. Don't scratch the door. I know, I know, mama's back.
gotta get the boys walking. They gotta get their steps in too. Right, Mooey? And it's so funny because Pollux always has a fully extended leash. He's not pulling on me, but he's extended. Partly because he is just so excited to be out on a walk. Plus, he's got some husky in him, so that he has that natural instinct to pull me. But Maxie, he just toodles along right beside me, not a care in the world. <laughs> Look how cute he is. And I've learned how to put both of their leashes in my hand like that so I can walk them at the same time. I've gotten really good at walking the dogs with one hand. But once it gets a little bit hotter outside, I have to walk Maxie separately. He needs to be walked in an area where there's a lot of shade and trees because he's an old guy. He gets hot in the summer. So that's just more steps for me because it's two separate walks for the dogs. A lot of mornings we walk up to this big church which is kind of near our house and if needed we'll take a little break in the shady area and Pollux loves to jump up in this flower bed and get his sniffs on every morning. Maxie on the other hand is like no no I'm not into that mom I'm just gonna stay down here on the ground but Pollux has got to check it out. When you live in the country this is what you see on your walk. Men in overalls out planting their gardens. Ooh, that was a good one huh guys? Everybody comes in to get a big drink of water, me included. I always have a big glass of ice water waiting for me when I come in because it is so refreshing when I'm hot and sweaty to just have this cold water. Hmm. So now I can just get on with my day. But who is gonna join me in the challenge to get up and moving? I wanna hear from you. Comment below, give me a smiley face, give me a thumbs up, something to let me know that you're gonna join me in the challenge. I think we could all feel better about ourselves, mentally, physically, if we would just get up and get moving. So let's do it. I challenge you, please join me. You have to post on your Instagram story a picture of your step counter showing how many steps you walked that day. Again, you don't have to show your face. You can show your feet. You can show your hand. It doesn't matter. Just post it on your story and tag me at Welcome to My Curls. That way I'll see it. And I'm going to randomly pick somebody and send you your very own 3D Fitbud Simple Step Counter. I actually have three of them. I have the pink, the black, and this is the step counter, the purple one that I had in my pocket just now. I walked 7,500 steps, and the great thing about it is you can have it in any direction. It doesn't matter if it's laying down or stand it up. You can throw it in your pocket. You can clip it in the clip and put it on your pants. You can put it anywhere on your body that you want. You can even drop it in your purse. Sometimes I clip mine on the strap of my purse just because I want to be able to see it. Doesn't matter what direction it's laying in, it is still going to count your steps. So it senses no activity, so it turns off. So it saves the battery for you. And the great thing is, once you pick it back up and you start moving after so many steps, there you go. See, it kicked in and gave me credits for all of the steps that I took. Right, Pollux? All the steps that I took. It's not a treat. It's my step counter. What are y'all doing? <laughs> but when I lay it down, it will go off again to save my battery. So I have my day off to a great start. I got my walk in. I'm sweaty. I feel good. I got my sunshine. I got my vitamin D from being out in the sunshine. I got things sorted out in my head, how my day is going to go. I want to show you my breakfast. I eat this every single morning, and it is a breakfast that makes me so happy just looking at it. Look at this. Every single morning, I have a bowl of oatmeal with fresh berries of some sort. Today, I have blackberries and raspberries. I have coconut flakes, and I top it with a little bit of oat milk. And I also add chia seeds to my oatmeal. Can you see the little black specks? I have about a tablespoon of chia seeds in there. Chia seeds are so good for you. When you put them in your oatmeal and they boil with the oatmeal, they get soft. I can't taste them. I don't feel them. I don't even know they're in there, but they fill you up and they're so good for you. So I have over 7,500 steps already this morning. I have to eat breakfast, get dressed, go to work. I'm working at the ice cream shop today. I will probably add about another five or 6,000 steps, maybe, onto my step counter. 
that's gonna give me 12 to 13,000 steps today, which that number is my personal goal. 12 to 13,000 steps, six days a week. That's the goal I set for myself. Set a goal for you that is best for you and join me in the challenge. Let's all get moving together so that we can feel better together. I know I'm feeling great and I am ready for my day and I hope you are too. I'll see you later.